getting a new car isn't as simple as it used to be. We have just recently purchased a brand new plug-in hybrid. This make and model wasn't Jennifer Nemet's first choice. When we spoke to a salesperson, I said, I'm here for the RAV4 Prime, and they actually laughed at us. It's an eight year wait, he said. It was an eight year wait list. They had one in the showroom that had arrived that day, and he goes, it's going out this evening. Somebody's been waiting for it. Not only that, it's $25,000 more than when you build it online, when you're building your vehicle. She went elsewhere. Say hello to the RAV4 Prime. Rather than wait eight years for this car, but it's not just one model with bizarre wait times. There's data showing less dealer inventory in Canada than before COVID. At the same time, auto dealers say more people are shopping. That's not helping prices either. Our demand is still strong, which for sure is a good thing for dealership, but, but because of the supply is still not at the, at the level that the, the demand is, uh, it has an effect on prices. Many costs to make a vehicle are still going up. And while some supply chain issues are improving, economists say the sticker price may not. I wouldn't hold my breath for fire sales at dealerships right now. I think that what one thing that they've learned over the course of the pandemic is that they don't need to keep as much inventory on hand as they thought they did prior to the pandemic. There was no reason given really at all. And customers are learning that the hard way. I have no power anymore. There's no more wheeling and dealing. They say this is how much it is, and you say, yes, please. Oh, please allow me to have this vehicle. Please, please, please. It may not change anytime soon. With high costs and high demand, bargaining horsepower could stay low. Anise Hadari, CBC News, Edmonton.